It's Laura. So I know I filmed and I up uploaded a video. Okay, sorry, I can't talk. Um, I uploaded a haul video yesterday, but <laughs> I seem to have forgotten some items that I haven't shown you guys. So this is sort of like a continuation. I mean, I don't know if you can say it's a haul, but because some of them have been with me for a while. So there's old, there's new. And I'm gonna have to update you guys on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette, the trio that I ended up getting, which also I ended up returning. Okay, why did I return it? Why didn't I make a video of it and then return it? I just want to be honest with you guys. Like, I, I thought at first I liked it. But out of all the three colors, I only really, really liked one, which is the Mood Exposure. But... The other one was sort of like a highlighter and the other one was like a generic peach and I sort of like had to build it up in order for me to get a decent color payoff. Yes, like right now I have um, Orgasm on by NARS and honestly um, NARS blushes are superior even some of MAC blushes or maybe some drugstore blushes are superior to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting blush i'm sorry but that's just my opinion and i'm speaking out of experience and for 80 dollars for a palette that i don't love if i don't love it then i'm gonna have to return it so that's why i ended up exchanging it for the items nars audacious lipstick and audrey is one of them and i showed it on the previous video so if you're curious to see what it looks like it's on the previous video and I also have a photo of it on Instagram. So I have it on with my red hair and everything. Visit my Instagram at Laura Tina Pay if you're curious to see what it looks like in photo. So here are the other items that I exchanged it with um, at Sephora. Um, and I am much happier with my selection, although I'm kind of like uh, on the other item. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tamana palette and this is by Dress Your Face and I actually follow her on Instagram as well. So her account is at Dress Your Face um, on Instagram. So this is my first ever Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Like I remember she has one from like last fall but I didn't buy when we had the 20% off um, sale. So it comes with... Um, 10 colors and for the price and a blush uh, uh sorry blush brush um i haven't used it yet but a lot of people seem to enjoy this um there's like a little tapered one and a wider one for patting on your eyeshadow so um here are the 10 colors and a lot of people here on youtube have made uh tutorials uh reviews and you know other feedback on this um palette so um it honestly i love it and the cost is 35 dollars canadian i think it's like 30 dollars for you guys there in the states but for here in canada it's 30 dollars and you get 10 decent very pigmented soft and finely milled um eyeshadows and this black oh my god it's the blackest black most pigmented black eyeshadow i've ever seen in my life so that's it very beautiful and you get a decent size mirror in there as well so you can't beat that um the day that i bought this palette there were only three so because i bought it there were only two in stock and so far at my store there's not a lot in stock but you can go online and i think there's more so just check it and also i'm really happy that it came with these cards the get the look cards and it gives you five tutorials um ideas on how to come up with different looks using your tamana palette so there's these okay and i'm pretty sure there's like a ton of tutorial here on um, facebook and on um not on Facebook, here on YouTube and on Instagram as well. So thank you, Dress Your Face and Anastasia for coming up with this palette and making it so affordable but with the highest of the high quality given to us makeup chunky. So thank you for giving us this. 
And then the next product is this Dior Forever Compact um, Flawless Perfection Fusion Makeup. And it's pretty much a powder foundation containing SPF 25, which is pretty awesome because we don't want to get premature aging on our skin. And um, for me, it's a luxury item because it's $50. So it comes with a huge mirror, as you can see. And um, the compact looks like this. For, ooh, <laughs> it comes with this poof that I only use when I'm out. And this is for retouch. Um, and I use a brush like this for when I want to put it on top of my makeup just to set it. Or I use a buffing brush like this. You can buy it from Walmart. This is the brush set that came... This brush co comes in a brush set that is created by Pixie Woo, Samantha Chapman. Okay? And yeah, so I tried buffing it in as a powder foundation. Now, as a powder foundation, um, I don't really like it. I got oily pretty fast. I don't know, it, it wears off fast. But a lot of people on MakeupAlley.com, which is a review website for those guys who are curious on trying out um, beauty products and other items, you know. Um, but so far, I only go there for like beauty, bath, and body and hair, you know, reviews or perfume before I go and try or purchase something, you know, especially if it's like really, really expensive. So, um, as a powder foundation, I don't like it, even though I've primed and everything, moisturized, um, I think that it wears off. But as a touch of powder or as a finishing powder, it's pretty decent. Um, I haven't told you guys, I am in the color 030 or 30 and I am MAC NC25. There's one that's like 21 or something like that and it's like a light yellow based one as well, like lighter than this one. But I find that to be too light, you know, I might, I'm kind of wary that I might turn white when I have it on. But this one, um... It's not too yellow and it's not too pink. It's got a great balance of like yellow and pink in there. So if you check out the Sephora website, it will tell you that it's like a neutral peachy undertone. And I've kept the, this thing here that holds the plastic that holds, you know, the, the sponge and um, the powder together. Like it's very, very soft and finely milled and... It gets really messy, so I just keep that in there to keep things, you know, um, intact and less messy. Um, not a hundred percent loving this one, so I'm still on the fence if whether or not I'm going to keep it. Um, this one contains 10 grams of powder, so I'm not sure if I. Yeah, I really am not sure if I'm going to keep it. Like, I'm just going to compare it to my NARS setting powder. This one has 7 grams, so this has more product. This is 10 grams. The NARS setting powder it has 7 grams. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm better off with the MAC blooding powder because that one I really love. And for $50, and I don't love it, <laughs> I'm still thinking about returning this one so um go to makeupalley.com and see the reviews there most of them are quite positive but i'm pretty sure there's a drugstore or like i said the mac setting powder the blot powder mac blot powder sorry that's the one that we really like so yeah and then moving on i this is a long I've had this product for a long time. This is the Lancome um, Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. And it's apparently waterproof. So um, you can put it under your eye. I've also put it on top of blemishes. And it works amazingly. But <laughs> it, it took me a while to figure out a way on how to make this work for me. So you have to go and get yourself a corrector first. Because like... My under eye is usually dull. I don't have dark circles or anything. It's just that I have a line in here and like I have a wrinkle here and one wrinkle here and just 
the under eye is really dull. So you have to go and get yourself a really decent corrector. And this is the Giorgio Armani. I don't think I've ever shown this to you guys. Maybe I have, but I never really said anything about it. So um, yeah, I went through a phase where I was just obsessed with fixing um, my, and correcting and brightening my under eye circles. Um, I mean, my under eye area, I don't have <laughs> black circles or anything. And this is one of their master corrector, I think. And I think it's like $40 or something. And I got the number one shade, which is like a pinky, peachy sort of like color. Um, you can also get the number two, I think, which is an orange. And I feel like I could have, I should have gotten the orange, but at the same time, this actually works really well for it because the pink cancels out the blue and the black and like, you know, the darkness going on under the eyes. And the only problem is obviously it's very expensive and it starts to bleed on the sides. Like my other tubes, like the other products that are sitting beside this started getting all, you know, it started getting all, all over like everything, you know, all the other products that's sitting beside this one. So yeah, it, it gets messy on the side. So what I do, I take my ring finger and I literally just dab this here instead of taking the one off and putting a dot yeah, that's how much you need, like a dot on each eye, under eye area. But, you know, I don't do that anymore. I just go beep and then I distribute and pat. And then go in with your concealer. This is the shade Beige 3 Neutral, I think. Okay, and there's like a neutral undertone in there. Like, no, it's like a yellowy to neutral undertone and then I put this on top and then get your favorite setting powder like today I used the NARS one and it's holding up pretty decently I've had my makeup on since 6 or 7 in the morning it's already like past 3 in the afternoon so I'm pretty happy with how long it has held up and I was outside doing my errands and I've been at the doctor's office for three hours of blood work many like physical tests and I got injected with something and you know this arm really hurts right now so yeah <laughs> really really tired from like I hate doing all this you know like medical stuff but you gotta do it getting sidetracked anyway um I'm not sure if I've shown this to you guys but I forgot to show you some MAC products, but they are from the permanent collection, so you don't have to go out and, like, go get it now. So, um, I was just talking about the NARS Audacious lipstick in Audrey, and that one is a red plummy color, and I require a lip liner for that. So, I had to go, I went to MAC and bought, you know, one of a lip, one of their lip liners because... I don't know, MAC is like my favorite brand for lip liner. It's very smooth, long-lasting, and so many colors. And at an affordable price, like it's not cheap, but it's not high and expensive. So this is the NARS Audrey. Okay, I will show you again. I don't want to wear like a bright red lip liner underneath it. I needed something that's, you know, similar to it. So I ended up getting half red. And a lot of people really like the shade. So that's um, NARS Audrey, and this is half red, which is like a dark mauve and it's a more of like a cool tone color, and um, like a cool tone, rosy, browny, mauve sort of color. Sorry, I can't like explain myself properly, but that's what it looks like. Okay, and I think they go very well together and if you're into like these these this like 90s sort of like lip trend that we're having lately try half red okay a lot of people like this and hopefully you're gonna like it too and then um they have baby size pigments now like chop oh my god travel size pigments and right now i have on blue brown Okay, and I have um, saddle eyeshadow like blended on the outer corner, like on the crease and on the outer corner as well. And then what I did 
it is best when you use this like with like a fix plus or water just spray your brush damp it and then use the pigment and then pat it on your lid zero fall out that way so if any of you guys are complaining about pigments being you know causing a lot of fallout no matter how beautiful they are use that or my favorite way of using it is with your liquid illuminator which i have i've had this forever this is the nars orgasm illuminator you can use the stila one or any of those liquid creamy illuminators just put a tiny tiny dot on your flat shader brush and then dip it in a little bit of pigment and then pat it on your lid so that way you have zero fallout and then the next product is called melon and melon is beautiful i, I think everybody should have these two pigments melon is amazing it's like this golden peachy um a little bit of a tan color and it's great for the lid um yeah it's a great mix of color and i absolutely love this pigment highly highly recommend it um then um there's this product i started breaking out again on my chin like out of nowhere and it usually happens right before that time of the month so i had this for a while because um it says they're bonus this is a bonus product when i bought the biore strips from walmart so sometimes um they do like to combine two or three products so that way you get to save more money and obviously it's a marketing ploy it attracts consumers so you know hi buy me give me your money sort of thing and it worked for me because you know i needed the pore strips and i'm like oh free cleanser and this one is the biore blemish fighting ice cleanser it removes 99 percent of dirt and oil and it contains two percent salicylic acid which you need if you're acne prone and it's oil free as well so um one full pump of this is too much like you need just like a little bit you know until you get like a pea size like honestly this uh, bubbles up like crazy and so far i like it i don't have any irritation on my face um be careful with getting this in your eye and it can get in your nose <laughs> if you're not careful that happened to me because it tingles it's a minty and refreshing that's why they call it the ice cleanser so so far no side effects no breakouts just clear skin like i've had a little acne here that's healing and few tiny bumps here and there and they're now disappearing because I think it's because of this cleanser too, which is amazing. Yay for junk store um, cleanser. And um, I went to Sally's yesterday because um, I wanted to buy more of my L'Oreal High Color Highlights Magenta, which is what I use to color my hair. And I do have a review of that hair color. So um, if you guys are interested, I will link it down below or somewhere around here as an annotation so um they ran out of the magenta duh such a famous color now and i was gonna get two boxes of the red i wanted to try the red one because apparently they come out really similar anyways it's just that the magenta has a bit more of like a pink undertone and red is the actual true red color and then um I told the lady, the sales lady who was helping me, that I was thinking of mixing, you know, my hair color with my conditioner. Or my, in this case, my cleansing conditioner. Because I stopped using shampoo now. I only use Win by Chaz Dean. And I love it. You know, a lot of, it's a very controversial product. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people love it. And I love it. <laughs> so I was going to mix a little bit of that every time. I shampoo or wash my hair into my cleansing conditioner. So the girl was like, well, it, the L'Oreal Color Highlights is only meant, strictly meant for coloring. She doesn't recommend that you use it for 
cleansing with your conditioner once to twice a week because of the peroxides and other chemicals that are in there. So she said, why don't you go with a semi-permanent color, but just be careful because it's going to be messy, you know, and it's creamier um, and it's easier to uh, mix with your conditioner or your shampoo and just add a tiny bit in your conditioner or your shampoo. So she said that I should go with a Manic Panic and I'm really curious to use this. Like, Manic Panic is a hit or a miss. A lot of, again, a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it, and it's a semi-permanent color, meaning that it's not a permanent color. After just a few washes, it's gonna come off. So it depends, depends on the user's hair and you know, condition and for what purpose you're gonna be using it for. So for me, Hell no, I'm not going to be using my, using this for um, coloring my hair. I just want something to put in my conditioner to deposit some color into my hair every time I wash it. Because it's really frustrating. Like, I love the L'Oreal High Color Highlights. But the thing is, after two weeks, my ends start to turn orange and my hair color starts to become dull. Even though I only rinse it with cold water, even though I only wash my hair once to two times a week, you know, and I take care of it, I don't shampoo it anymore, like just cleansing conditioner, it still fades. So I just washed my hair this morning with this. I make, I took a black bowl, you know, that mixing bowl that you use for coloring your hair. A lot of it is at Sally's. So um, I actually bought this box of gloves there again it's from sally's this is the size medium 100 black vinyl gloves so take two pairs of gloves and before i went to the shower i took some vaseline and put it on my hairline on my ears as well and just like around you know the perimeter of your hairline don't forget the ears remember because it's gonna get on your ears and then take your ball I just put a little bit of this Manic Panic. Um, this is in Red Passion. There's one that's called Hot Hot Pink, I think. And that one looks like a magenta color, which looks really nice. But at the same time, my hair color is more on the red side still. So I, I, don't, I don't want it to like turn pink. Like I love the pink undertone, but I don't want it to turn like pink pink. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, I just took my some of my conditioner. And, you know, I just eyeballed it. I'm like, okay, this is how much I'm going to put on my hair. And then I just put a little bit of this. I would say, like, maybe a tablespoon of this. Like, the packaging is like this, okay? Which is not really user-friendly. I just eyeballed it and I poured it. And it's very creamy and a little bit runny. So, and it was very easy to mix with um, my cleansing conditioner. So... Um, you put your gloves on first before, you know, handling, um, before you even mix the colors and you're in the shower and you're about to go take a shower and wash your hair, remove everything, grab your whatever it is that you're going to need in the shower, put it in there before you start touching the color because the color is going to go everywhere so you're gonna need your body wash if you're gonna shave go get your blades um, and then um wear black gloves okay um and then you know i just with the black glove i just you know swirled my finger around in the in the while i'm in the shower in in the bowl and then I started, I don't know, going like this because I wanted to like <laughs> maintain my ends first in the bowl and then started scooping it up manually and then spreading it and then massaging it in my scalp, everything while I'm in the shower. And then um, get a shower cap as well. Put everything in the shower cap. Or you can also use like clips, you know, if you don't want to use a shower cap. You can use clips like this. And then just be careful because once you rinse it and once you're probably like scrubbing and cleaning yourself and shaving in the shower you know your hair is gonna drip and it's gonna be pink and red you know like 
everywhere. So be careful with um, washing and scrubbing it as soon as it lands. I know it's like so high maintenance and I'm talking so much because there's so much going on and I'm just trying to help. <laughs> but um, I have like these scrubby gloves um, from the body shop as well. And I had that on. I had that on while I was like scrubbing and cleaning my body. So I was going crazy like scrubbing myself and then scrubbing every drip. <laughs> every drip of like pink that lands on the tub. So I mean my tub is pretty clean. I just want to get rid of the color right away because it's not my house. It's my mom's house. And I don't want to do anything that's gonna, you know, like color the tub and any other surface pink because of me. I don't want pink and red drops everywhere so man i should have put that in a different video now then but it's a show and tell new stuff stuff that i haven't you know talked to you guys about and shown you guys before so that's it i hope you still enjoyed this video even though i spoke too much especially when it came down to this manic panic thing so and like I said, these two items are from Sally's and just letting you guys know um, as a disclaimer, I'm not affiliated though I work for any of the companies and the brands that I've mentioned in this video and yeah, unfortunately, I'm not getting paid either to make this video. Nobody's making me do it. I'm making me do it and yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed and find it helpful anyway, somewhat helpful anyways. Let me know in the comments down below. Um... Let me know what you guys think of the manic panic because a lot of people have different things to say about that. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but um, I do have other accounts again, like uh, on Instagram um, at Laura Tinape, on Facebook and Pinterest at Laura Tinape as well. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.